in this lecture we're going to study polyamides and polyamides are another type of condensation polymers condensation polymers were formed when a water molecule was produced when two monomers or more than when different monomers uh, they came together they connected and joined with each other and a water molecule was produced so that's uh, that was what condensation polymer was so polyamides are identified by an amide linkage the, all the uh, monomers when they join together they form this amide link which looks something like this so a polyamide is going to be a large macromolecule where all the monomer residues would be connected with these amide linkages so so let's write amide this is an amide linkage and we'll explain that later as as i describe polyamides and the formation of polyamides now uh, some examples of poly amides are uh, you have nylon which is used uh, in fishing nets so it's used in fishing nets and ropes as well so nylon is one example of a polyamide then you have uh, Kevlar which is which is used in bulletproof jackets it's a very strong uh, material so so it's used in bulletproof jackets so these are synthetic man-made uh, polyamides now there's a natural polyamide which are called proteins proteins or polypeptides so proteins are one of the building blocks of uh, of uh, the human body it's uh, so proteins are made from amino acids so they're made from amino acids Amino acids are the monomer and we're going to study uh, proteins in detail as well. We will first uh, try to figure out uh, and construct the structure of nylon or Kevlar. Now uh, nylon or Kevlar have two monomers. One monomer uh, is a diamine uh, which is a molecule. It's going. It, so this red box could represent anything. So it's a molecule that has amine groups on both sides. So there's NH2 groups on one side and there's another NH2 group on the other side. Then you have a second monomer, which is a dicarboxylic acid. Dicarboxylic acid means there's going to be a molecule, a small molecule, a small monomer, which has carboxylic acid groups, C double bond O, OH on both sides. So on both sides, they are C double bond O and OH. So you have these two molecules. One is a diamine and the other one is a dicarboxylic acid when the polymer is made uh, these two monomers uh, the diamine and the dicarboxylic acid are arranged in an alternating fashion which means that there's a dicarboxylic acid followed by a diamine followed by another dicarboxylic acid and then an another diamine and this would continue so a normal chain is going to contain thousands of repeating diamines and dicarboxylic acids what's going to happen next is that a condensation reaction a condensation reaction would uh, occur under specific conditions so the c reaction would be that the OH group from the carboxylic acid gets removed and the hydrogen from the amine group gets removed and these two uh, the nitrogen and the carbon the carbon over here and the nitrogen over here are going to bond with each other so uh, everywhere wherever a carboxylic acid meets an amine the hydrogen from the amine gets removed and the OH group from the carboxylic acid gets removed similarly the OH group from the carboxylic acid get, gets removed the hydrogen from the amine group gets removed and so on this would continue so it's going to keep on continuing the OH would get removed from this side and now we're going to try and draw uh, what the molecule would look like uh, once they're removed and once uh, all these carbon atoms uh, and these nitrogen atoms they connect with each other what I'm going to try and do now is I'm going to remove all these uh, hydrogen and OH groups they're going to form water a condensation reaction would occur so H and OH they get removed forming H2O so this hydrogen gets this OH gets removed so this just shows that the chain is still continuing on the right and the left and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect these two together 
So that's one amide link. This carbon goes and bonds with the nitrogen over here. That's another amide link. This carbon bonds with the nitrogen over here. That's another amide link, and so on. This would continue. So it's important to draw these continuation bonds, which is going to show you that the chain is continuing. It's going to be a very very long chain. So that chain is continuing, and all the H and OH they ended up forming water molecules so that is where the word condensation comes from it's going to be a condensation reaction so the H and OH that got removed ended up forming H2O and this over here is your amide link this is called your amide link so you have all these amide links connecting these molecules which uh, I have represented uh, those uh, molecules with uh, boxes blue and red boxes so these amide links so an amide link is C double bond O and NH so you have C double bond O and NH so this is the link that is connecting all the monomer residues and this is called the this is called the amide link which is why this is called polyamides now I'm going to do another example I'm going to draw a polyamide uh, with the following monomers there's a diamine and now I'm not going to draw them with boxes so there's an actual diamine which has a carbon chain in between and there are two NH2 groups amine groups on both sides and I have a dicarboxylic acid which has a molecule it's a molecule that has carboxylic acid groups on both sides so I'm going to I'm going to draw uh, repeat units of these monomers and then I'm going to link them together. So let's start with the diamine. So you have uh, CH2, another CH2, that's the middle part. And then you have, uh, let's expand that, an NH2 group on the right side and another NH2 group on the left hand side. The following, following this uh, diam diamine group, I'm going to draw a dicarboxylic acid. So I have C del bond O and OH on this side and I have carbon with a hydrogen and a methyl group CH3 in brackets so I'm drawing this part over here and then followed by another carboxylic acid group on the other side so so there's going to be another carboxylic acid group then I'm going to repeat the diamine so I have uh, NH2 followed by two CH2s, there's a carbon chain then I have another NH2 and after that I would have another dicarboxylic acid so it's going to be a carboxylic acid group followed by CH then there's a CH3 then you have this carboxylic acid so this is going to continue thousands of different monomers are going to interlink and bond with each other so I'm going to start and uh, link these monomers together and a condensation reaction would occur uh, hydrogen would be removed from the amine and OH would be removed from the carboxylic acid and they would end up forming water so OH would be removed from carboxylic acid H would be removed from amine H would be removed from amine uh, OH would be removed from carboxylic acid and so on this would continue this H would be removed from this side so I'm going to rub them off now I'm going to uh, erase the H and OH because they ended up forming H2O so get rid of the H and OH so that's another remove this OH it's going to bond with something on the right and uh, same goes with this H so I'm going to remove that as well and I'm going to link them together carbon is going to make a bond with N N is going to link up with this carbon over here this N would link up with this carbon over here and the linkages would simply continue so on both sides the continue drawing the continuation bond over here and over here is important and uh, as you can see you're going to notice uh, amide links uh, which you can you can see this C double bond O NH group. So this C double bond O NH group is an is one amide link. This C double bond O NH is another amide link, 
NH followed by C double bond O, that's another amide link. So you have all these amide links, C double bond O and NH. So these are your multiple amide links. You, so you, you're basically forming a polyamide. You'll have multiple amide links. And both these monomers are going to be joined together uh, in a repeating fashion, one followed by the other. And you would have thousands of different monomer residues in one polyamide chain like this. Let's do another example and draw another polyamide and uh, I have uh, two monomers. One is a diamine. So there's a benzene ring. You don't need, really need to know what a benzene ring is, but, uh, but it's just a molecule that has uh, NH2 groups on both sides. So that's a diamine. And then you have a dicarboxylic acid. So you have a carboxylic acid on both sides of this molecule. So there's a carbon chain with two methyl groups attached and there are carboxylic acid groups on both sides. So so you have a dicarboxylic acid and you have a diamine and then I, I have drawn them in a repeating order. I have a diamine followed by a dicarboxylic acid followed by a diamine and then another dicarboxylic acid. And what would happen is that they're going to react with each other in a condensation polymerization reaction. So, so the H from the amine will be removed and the OH from the carboxylic acid would be removed and they would end up forming a water molecule. Similarly, the OH from the carboxylic acid, the H from the amine gets removed. The H from the amine and the OH from the carboxylic acid gets removed. This OH gets removed and it's going to continue. This H gets removed from that side. So, so the H and the OH groups get removed and they end up forming water. So let's remove them because they have now been removed. So I'm going to remove the OH groups and the H the H gets removed and the OH gets removed and just for the sake of con uh, having continuity so this is what's left and then I'm going to link them up the C double bond O goes and bonds with the N this N goes and bonds with the C double bond O this, these are continuation bonds which means that the that the chain is continuing and this N gets bonded with the C over there and this is another continuation bond. So you have, this is your final polymer that is uh, d drawn. I'm not writing water molecules, uh, but we, but water would be produced. The H and the OH that were removed from this side, they ended up forming H2O. So a condensation reaction occurs and you can see that these are amide links. There's a C double bond O followed by an NH group, an NH group followed by a C double bond O, a C double bond O and an NH group. So you have all these amide links. So it's C double bond O, NH links, amide links everywhere. So that's that's an amide link. So you have lots of amide links in this particular chain, which is why it's called a polyamide.